We're at the 2007 Sea Otter Classic. It's day three, and it is raining quite a bit. Today I'm joined by Christoph Souser, the 2005-2004 World Cup champion of cross-country mountain biking. Christoph's over here in the United States racing cross-country. Christoph, thanks for uh, joining us today. So, Christoph, my first question for you today is um, about racing in the United States. You know, um, you're from Switzerland. Mountain bike racing is incredibly popular in Switzerland. It's popular in the United States as well. But why do you think um, Switzerland has been able to turn out so many good top-level mountain cross-country mountain bike racers? Well, that's been uh, written all over a little bit, and everybody searched for this answer. I think it's a small country. We have a very good terrain to ride. And it's a very healthy environment we, we riders grow up. And there's a good, very good racing in a small uh, region where you can drive every week into a race, which is two hours. And um, I think also there's a few guys out, like Andy Sally, Bruno Dietelm, and other guys who develop young riders. And um, that definitely helps uh, growing uh, mountain biking in Switzerland. Well, uh, so far I've never ever finished top five in any of the races. I hope uh, we can change this soon. Yesterday I finished six, so uh, uh, I was close, but today it's 20 minutes in the full rain compared to uh, two weeks ago in South Africa, four hours in the saddle in the heat. But uh, I'm definitely uh, still excited for, especially for the cross country tomorrow. It will be the first time that it's going to be a really take off in the season. And uh, yeah, when I just text home with my mobile phone and saying it's pissing here in California, they always think I come here to California and having a good good uh, time in the sun. So far, it's been great, and hopefully, this is gonna be the only uh, rainy day. All right, Christoph. Yeah, you mentioned it. You know, you were in South Africa uh, a couple of weeks ago for the Absa Cape Epic Mountain Bike Stage Race. Um, you know, why don't you tell us a little bit why that race is important for your season? First of all, you ride uh, or you race basically eight days in the sun. You go out in the morning, seven o'clock, you kind of rise with the sun into the race. And this is just uh, great. It's very well organized, gives you a good shape for the whole season. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really easy, hard training to do basically with uh, lots of motivation and, ex and race excitement. Next uh, weekend, we have the first World Cup in Hoofalis, Belgium. But there was a lot of traveling after South Africa home, now here to California, back to Hoofalis. So uh, it's uh, important that you're well organized and have next to all the racing good massage and good sleep. <laughs> I would like to win uh, the World Cup again overall and definitely the World Champs. I've been the last two years uh, second in both events. And uh, yeah, to win, to win the World Champion jersey and having it for one or probably even two years, that would be, uh, that would be incredible. Yeah, you know, the guy you've been going head-to-head -head with in the World Cup and the World Championships for the last few years, um, Frenchman Julian Absalon, has really had a lot of success in the last um, couple years. You know, um, talk about how you stack up to Julian. Well, uh, Julian is uh, also, um, yeah, it's, um, how can I say, big motivation, you know, to beat him. Uh, We've been always up. It normally, always comes up to us too in the in the big races. We're we're being left, and so far he always been a little bit a tick better. Sometimes I can beat him, but at the World Champs he's always been up there and and beating me at the at the final lap. So uh, hopefully I can turn this around this year. Today he won already a, a race in Switzerland again, quite far ahead of uh, of Cannondale's Frederick Kasiakov. But the showdown will be uh, next weekend, and I hope it's going to be uh, a good battle with happy ending for me. <laughs> so, um, you know, Christoph, you've been racing at the top of the sport for, um, you know, a few like, many years now. You're a seasoned veteran. You know, um, who has been your toughest competitor throughout your career? Uh, definitely, surely, Absala. Um, I've never ever raced over three years against. The same guy, you know, when you see the results over the last three years, at the top it's always been Julia and me, first or second, second and <laughs> second and first, however you want to see it. And, um, you know, there, there was Cadell, there was Frigi, but it never been for such a long period. 
that um, yeah, two riders kind of little dominate the, the big races. But I think it's quite interesting for the people to to have a, a battle like this. Yeah. You know what uh, what needs to happen then for you to be able to beat Julian? Uh, nice sunny weather, and that's it. <laughs> All right, well, we don't have sunny weather today out at Sea Otter Classic. Unfortunately, it's raining. But, um, Christoph, what are your hopes for Sunday's cross-country race? Well, it's basically only the North Americans are here, but they, uh, for them it's the biggest event uh, next to the World Cup in Canada. So it, those will be the guys to beat. And then hopefully Liam will be up there as well, my teammate from Specialized, and probably Frenchman Perrault we will see. But... Uh, it's a nice course, two laps. It's different compared to a normal cross-country format, but I like it. Lots of single trails, and uh, it would be nice to start uh, with a win in, into the into the start of the season. Are you going to be racing in North America at all the rest of the year? Uh, only the two World Cups in Canada. All right, well, best of luck throughout the season. Uh, thanks for sitting down with us, Christoph, and uh, good luck on Sunday. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to Velo News TV.